Let's go now to Rick Ritter. Rick has been talking with the people in the Perry Hall neighborhood where this tragedy unfolded. Rick? Well, Vic, for many out here, it was the fear of the unknown, not knowing where these suspects were or when they would be caught. Tonight, this entire community is breathing a sigh of relief. Tuesday marks a return to normalcy for this Perry Hall community. Streets back open and neighbors resurfacing. Just hours before, it was essentially on lockdown. Hundreds found themselves in the middle of a manhunt after Officer Amy Caprio was killed along Linwin Way. And I'm in poor health, and I don't know why the Lord don't take me and that a young girl like that live. Andy Vogel heard the it, chaos play out. And I was just getting up, and I heard a pop, and I thought, damn, that sounds like a gun. Authorities quickly swarmed the area with officers weaving in between homes, desperately searching for the suspects. My wife was petrified. She screamed, come on in the house, come on in the house. Forcing several schools to keep children like 10-year-old Abigail Cook, who was locked inside for hours. My friend, um, he looked it up of uh, what happened, and he said that there was a gun shooting, then I started getting freaked out what's going to happen. Many left fearing the worst. It was complete chaos. With the suspects now in custody, anxiety has faded, but the pain is still fresh. Bruno Barron, one of many strangers dropping off flowers at a makeshift memorial for Caprio, trying to take yeah, it all in. It's, it's like crazy. It's total insanity. Knowing the chaos they lived through is irrelevant compared to the heartache of Caprio's family. Anytime you lose a life like that, it's just totally unfair. Tonight, many people are still coming to this community to drop off fl uh, flowers, even complete strangers showing up to pay their respects. Back to you. I know that is so touching, Rick. Thank you.